play the flute with a great tone. First, you need to know how to use a correct embouchure. Now, the word embouchure is just how the lips should be formed when playing on a wind instrument. And for the flute, we're going to learn how to play with the correct embouchure by experimenting in the mirror. The mirror is very important to use. And so we're going to experiment and make different faces and try out some different embouchures. So, let's first try a smiley embouchure. So we're going to make a big smile, grab your mirror, and make a big smile in your mirror. Now, I'm going to check out how that sounds. Oh, that's a tight and ugly sound. So a smiley embouchure is not a good embouchure. Let's try bringing our lips way forward, like we're blowing a kiss or mooing like a cow. Let's check it out in the front of the mirror. Try your mooing. Okay, let's try that. Hmm, that's a little better, but that was a, a bit airy. Let's try making both our lips disappear. Check it out in front of the mirror. Let's see if that's a good flute embouchure. Oh, that's a terrible embouchure. So, let's try this way. Let's just close our lips naturally and then do a slight pout. So close your lips naturally with a slight pout. Check that out in front of your mirror. And use your index finger to make your lower lip go to sleep on top of that index finger. Push down. That's right with your slight pout. Let's try that. Yes, that's a wonderful embouchure. Okay, one more thing about forming your embouchure. We want to know that we have what part of our lips? Feel the wet part of your lips. It's kind of the inner parts and the dry part. Okay, when we play the flute, it's very important to play on the wet part of the lips. Let's just practice putting our wet part of our lips together. Kind of push them together firmly. Now do the dry part. Now the wet part, now the dry. Now let's check that all in front of the mirror. So we're going to put our wet part of our lips together, close our lips like normal, do a slight pout, and push that lower lip into your finger. Now if your teacher is with you, have them take a picture once you get that really good embouchure and send it to you um, so that you can be watching and looking and making sure whether you have the correct or the incorrect embouchure. And then to blow, we keep our lips closed and we say the word P. So I find a very helpful way to learn how to blow correctly is just take some wadded up pieces of paper Okay, and then form your correct embouchure, and we're going to use the sound P to blow these pieces of paper. Now often students forget about the P sound and start just going like this, and you're not going to get a very good flute sound. Um, it's not uncommon for me to have to remind students three or four times during a lesson not to use the sound, but the P sound. So that will be a very important part to remember is to use your P sound when blowing. Once you get very good at that, then you can line a bunch of pieces of papers up in a row and see if you can do them all in one breath. Let me try this. So we're lining up our wads of paper, and I'm going to take a big breath and see if I can blow them all off in one breath. That's great practice for learning how to sustain the air column.